Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, dear brothers and sisters in Islam. Welcome to another episode of the series on supplication uh, dua. In the last few episodes, we were talking about the du'as in uh, Surah Al-Baqarah, and we started Ali Imran. Uh, today, we will carry on with uh, some of the supplications in Surah Ali Imran, and let's start with verse 38. In this verse, uh, this du'a is actually uh, has actually been said by Zakaria, Zachary, Zakaria. قَالَ رَبِّ هَبْ لِي مِنْ لَدُنْكَ ذُرِّيَّةً طَيِّبَةً إِنَّكَ سَمِيعُ الدُّعَاءِ هُنَالِكَ دَعَى زَكَرِيَّ رَبَّ قَالَ رَبِّ هَبْ لِي مِنْ لَدُنْكَ ذُرِّيَّةً طَيِّبَةً إِنَّكَ سَمِيعُ الدُّعَاءِ My Lord, Rabbi هَبْ لِي My Lord, give me ذُرِّيَّةً طَيِّبَةً رَبِّ هَبْ لِي مِنْكَ ذُرِّيَّةً طَيِّبَةً إِنَّكَ سَمِيعُ الدُّعَاءِ My Lord, give me from you a good offspring. Verily, you are the hearer of all supplications. Verily, you are the hearer of all supplications. When did Zachariah say this? Zachariah said this when he entered uh, the prayer room of Mary uh, uh, and he found provisions that were not timely, not the, the provisions of the season, you know, produce uh, fruits, vegetables that were not, uh, that were out of season. And he, he found them at uh, Mary's place. Uh, and certainly during that time, it was completely unexpected to find the fruits of the summer in the winter or the fruits of the winter in the summer. And then Zechariah asked Maryam, how come, how come you have this? Who brings this to you? And Maryam told Zakaria, it's from Allah. In Allah, Allah gives to whomever he pleases without reckoning. Allah provides to whomever he pleases without reckoning. And then Zakaria said, well, I have been for so many years sterile. And my wife has been for so many, so many years sterile. So since Allah provides to whomever he pleases without reckoning, without hisab, uh, and since Allah provides for Mary the fruits of the summer and the winter and the fruits of the winter and the summer, let me make dua to have a child. And then he said, Rabbi habli min ladunka zurriyatun tayyibah innaka sami'u dua Rabbi habli min ladunka zurriyatun tayyibah innaka sami'u dua My Lord, give me from you a good offspring, for verily you are the hearer of all invocation. Notice that Zechariah did not say, my Lord, just give me a child. He said a good offspring, because merely a child can cause you more harm than good. If the child is not a righteous child, that's why the believers, as in Surah Al-Furqan, the end of Surah Al-Furqan, they say, uh, oh Allah, give us from our uh, uh, wives or spouses and uh, children or offspring a pleasure for our eyes, a pleasure for our eyes, a comfort for our eyes. It is extremely important because uh, a, a wicked child can cause his parents a lot more harm than not having a child altogether. But he wanted a good offspring. He wanted a righteous child. He wanted, as he indicated in some other uh, ayah, a child who will inherit from Zechariah the heritage of Bani Israel that Zechariah inherited, which is the heritage of prophethood. That's what he wanted from the child. And that's again going back to the purpose that we talked about when we talked about the etiquettes of dua and we said that you sh should have some purpose in that which you ask uh, for and that purpose should be a wholesome purpose should be a pure purpose and it would be a good thing as well to indicate what this purpose is when you make your dua that is not because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not know what you think of. Allah knows what you think of, but that is 
to show your, your interest in, in having your dua responded to, to show the urgency of the matter, to show your sincerity in the dua, and to make your request um, more worthy of being accepted and answered by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. رَبِّ هَبْ لِي مِنْ لَدُنْكَ ذُرِّيَّةً طَيِّبَ إِنَّكَ سَمِيعُ الدُّعَاءَ Going back to another etiquette of dua, Zakaria teaches us here that you use the names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you make dua because he is using the name of Samia. إِنَّكَ سَمِيعُ الدُّعَاءَ You are the hearer of all invocation. Uh, there is nothing impossible for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as we indicated before when we were talking about the etiquettes of dua there is nothing that's too big for Allah nothing that's too small for you so if, you, if your wife is sterile and you are sterile and you have been sterile for 15 years it is completely justifiable that you make dua it's completely acceptable, reasonable, rational that you make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give you a child. Because how many people had a child after 15 or 20 years of sterility? Many people. We know of them. We have seen them. Because Allah is all-powerful. He gives to whomever he pleases females, female children. He gives to whomever he pleases male children or he gives them pairs of males and females, and he makes whomever he pleases sterile. So it's all in the hands of Allah. It's all in the power of Allah. He is the creator. To him is the dominion of the heavens and the earth. He creates whatever he pleases. That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches us. That's what he tells us. He creates whatever he pleases. So let us ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and never say I have asked enough, ask more, and ask more, and continue to ask more. I personally know someone who kept on making dua for 15 years, and uh, I, I have known this person from, from New York City, and he's, he's a, a very decent uh, brother, and he was married, and for 15 years they did not have kids, and he kept on making dua for 15 years, and it makes it makes your heart break to see him, you know, uh, wishing for a child and, and so on and so forth. But after the 15 years, he had two daughters, not just one. He had two daughters in a row. And his wife has, was already old enough, and he was already old enough. But it is never too late for Allah. It's never too big for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So let's make dua and let's be certain that Allah will answer us. Inshallah, in the next episode, we will have another dua from Surah Ali Imran. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.